<laughs> a little bit a little bit the same reasons as all of us i would have thought is that actually um it's it's totally nice sometimes to get together with people and to reminisce and talk about the olden days and I do some of that at the moment, what with um, having a level anniversary meetings to go to and meeting, catching up with family I don't see very often, but um, and and that's very nice and it's, it's helpful and, um, and it lifts the mood sometimes, especially when you've got nice memories. Um, but but <laughs> that's that's just not all there is to life, isn't there? We've got hopes and dreams and aspirations, and that's. <laughs> that's just as much part of what we want to talk with people about and I suppose when it comes to living with dementia then then that's what creates hope. Having a sense of hope comes from that and hopefulness is one of the key senses of well-being um, that, that we have and I suppose there's, there's, that's going to be very varied for different people when you receive a diagnosis or even after you've had a diagnosis and you've been living with dementia for some time, that there is this fear of the unknown because dementia is so individual. That's one component of it. But the um, journey of dementia, we can't predict that or know how that's going to be. We can't maybe predict things that aren't in our control that aren't dementia, COVID, for example. And I think the fear of the unknown can leave people feeling not as positive about what their future might hold. But that's why it's really important to look at what there is in the future and to not automatically assume that because you have a dementia or that you care for somebody with a dementia, that there isn't a future there. The key word is hope. So, um, and I think the Lilac group, the Always group is part of ideal. All the groups that make up the, uh, the, the deep network of involvement groups, people with dementia, demonstrate there's now thousands of people living with dementia who definitely have hope. Um, who want to come together to talk about their experience, support each other, do things which give meaning to their life, um, do new things, carry on doing the things they were doing. It's this stereotyping of people with dementia, isn't it? Is that then they get kind of, first they get told that it's all about memory and people forget about all the other aspects of, of disability and dementia. And then they get kind of stuck with having to reminisce all the time. It's, it's easy to get kind of um, sucked into the, the whole concept of reminiscence and, and looking back. But even with gathering information in, in, in the care services about an individual so that you can offer them meaningful activities and engagement shouldn't just be about drawing on the things they um, a person's had an interest in and had an hobby because people like to learn something new and try something new and no matter what age and stage of our, our lives we're at. I suppose the other the, the other aspect that I that I come across in my clinical practice is um, you know not everyone's had a charmed life not everyone's had lots of lovely memories and actually there are quite a lot of people who really do need a bit of a focus on having quality of life right now and in the present and who really do need something positive to look forward to in the future and that's especially the case when actually a lot of the past is very painful and a bit rubbish. And a big piece of the work that I've been involved with over the last 10 years probably, is cognitive rehabilitation, which is very much about um, giving people a sense of hope by looking at what's possible to learn or relearn um, when you've lost it. It's not only about uh, drawing on the past, it's also looking forward to the future. Um, and people with dementia and carers can still aspire to do all the things that they'd hoped for in the future, um, not undermining that there can be challenges and there can be difficulties, but you're still you. <laughs> I think that's the most important thing I'd want people to take away.